Well, good afternoon on this Black Friday. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. If you're like me, you're a little stuffed getting into those leftovers, and we're going to have those all the way through the weekend. Anyway, outside today, you know, we've had those clouds that were with us all day yesterday in the rain. Well, we've actually seen those break up a little bit with the drier air coming in behind the cold front. Uh, you can see, though, we still have some higher clouds which are moving back in, and those are going to increase as we go through the day. It's chilly. Yeah, you need that sweater as you head out the door. Temperatures are only at 58 degrees in Corpus Christi. Then you factor in that breeze blowing and it makes it feel awfully cool. 56 right now at Port Aransas to 60 at the Naval Air Station and inland near Orange Grove and Mathis. And yet that north northeast wind still blowing uh, 12 miles an hour and that's going to continue through the afternoon. Dying down a little bit though. Here's your hourly forecast and you can see those temperatures hover very close to 60 degrees today. Clouds will increase and that breeze slowly dies down. Now notice we do stay dry all the way into the evening but tonight that could change as another system moves in. As far as temperatures, this is a look at this afternoon. Again, only touching near 60 degrees. And then tonight, uh, temperatures with the cloud cover, those will stay in the upper 40s to low 50s. So just a chilly night, uh, but mainly dry. We'll start to pick up a chance of rain by early Saturday. And then with the clouds and the rain, it's not going to warm up tomorrow. We're only in the upper 50s to near 60 and then tomorrow night drying out. By Sunday morning, though, we start seeing some sunshine and that's going to boost our temperatures. Sunday looks like the warmer day of the weekend as we will reach into those upper 60s. All right, so we had our cold front go through. It dried out today behind it. Now we've got this. This is an upper level area of low pressure and that with moisture coming in off the Pacific is going to move across Texas tonight and tomorrow. So with that uplift from that low and the increased moisture out ahead of it, uh, we are going to get some rain before it pulls off to the east and then we dry out again for Sunday. So for right now, we're still left with the cool air and some of those clouds from our cold front that came through yesterday. And I'm sure you noticed that with that big wind shift and the temperature drop and all that rain. Well, now it's moving on its way. Higher pressure trying to settle in. But look, lots of moisture still coming in from the southwest with that upper level low which is spinning back here and these showers are going to build through the state for tonight and tomorrow. Now it's not going to be a lot of rain. Nothing like we saw yesterday in some areas but we will pick up some light showers. So here's a look at future tracker. This is this afternoon. You'll notice we have a little bit of sun coming out but watch those clouds increase again for tonight and then tomorrow uh, temperatures are staying chilly. We see a few showers. Notice that green here. Notice also that it's more hit and miss tomorrow. Some places not much rain, others could get a quarter to a half inch, uh, and that will continue through the day, but very spotty as we go through the early afternoon. So if you're going to be out shopping tomorrow or perhaps putting up the Christmas decorations, yeah, you may get a little wet here and there. It wouldn't hurt to have that umbrella with you, and you'll need the jackets too. But look at Sunday. The sunshine comes out, and temperatures are going to start warming up for Sunday. We're not going to get a lot of rain out of that system tomorrow. Potentially rain you can see is basically under two tenths of an inch. A few spots might pick up about a quarter to a half inch, but it's certainly going to be a much lighter. The weekend, Sunday looks like the pick day to get outdoors. We'll have sunshine, temperatures in the 60s Sunday, and there's your seven day forecast. We do dry out Sunday and then a slow warming trend with beautiful weather early next week. Sierra, back to you.